Hi everybody, my name is Hannah and this is Pepper and Pine and today I want to share with you my thoughts on The Ordinary Parent's Guide to Teaching Reading by Jesse Weiss and Sarah Buffington. Now we've done this twice with uh, two out of four of my children. My youngest one is too young to do this one and my oldest one we didn't do this program with him. Now it's been a while since we've done this, but I still wanna share with you some of my impressions of this curriculum. Now we generally follow a Waldorf curriculum and this is not a Waldorf inspired curriculum at all. This is very different, in fact, very opposite to how you would teach learning how to read in a Waldorf curriculum but we still did use it with two of my children. This is a very complete guide. It goes through the alphabet, the short vowel sounds, the long ones, different blending sounds. So it's a really great way to go, especially if you are a homeschooler and you need something that's very complete, then this is definitely something that will help you out. All right, so it starts out with the first lessons, which are the letters of the alphabet. And it will take you about five weeks if you're doing one lesson a day. And this is a scripted curriculum. And so there is a place for the instructor to, for what the instructor is supposed to say. And then it has a, a place for the child's response. So this is an oral curriculum. So you'll be saying this aloud to your child. And then your child will give you a response that hopefully matches the response that's in the book. And I found that it was, it's really well written. I didn't have to change the instructor text at all. I found that I could say almost exactly the way it was written and it still felt really authentic. Something else is that it recommends that you have some blank index cards so that you can write the letters of the alphabet. I chose just to go ahead and write that in the book. It's not ideal to do this because later on you will want to be able to shuffle through the cards and it's a little bit harder to shuffle through the pages where you've written the, the letters versus just index cards. And, you know, if you have a problem writing your book, this is definitely not going to be something that you want to do. Definitely get the index cards. And what's really great also is that the first lessons, actually all the lessons, include a review section along with the lesson, which is really great. So that part of the whole lesson is always to review a little bit from a previous lesson. And as you get further into the curriculum, it will remind you to review, two review and one new uh, every day. And I can't find that right away, but I will point it out when I see it again. Oh, here we go. Two review and one new. Don't forget, two review and one new. Now, I admit that we never went back and reviewed two lessons before working on the new lesson because for my first child who did this, this was a very difficult curriculum for him to do, even though we started this at a later age than you would typically do for this curriculum. He really struggled through it, and the idea of going back and doing a review lesson before moving on would have just completely been, it would have taken all the energy just to do the lesson. And so we just decided to keep moving forward. Now he struggled through this a lot. I struggled through this a lot. It wasn't easy for either of us. There were a lot of days that we wanted to give up on this. And granted, he was, I think, eight or nine when we did this. He was, had trouble reading, learning how to read. So we did this when he was really should have been ready to learn how to read. And I'll just tell you, he's 14 now and can read anything. He's got great comprehension. It's not a problem at all. He was just late to begin learning how to read. And you would think that by that age, he would have been able to do this really easily, but he, he wasn't able to. The thing is, is that after about a year, uh, after we completed this whole curriculum and we did do the entire thing, he said that these lessons were his favorite in our homeschool, which completely <laughs> doesn't make sense to me since it was really difficult for both of us at the time. Now, this curriculum starts off very slow and very easy, but it does pick up quite quickly. By lesson 48, you're looking at three paragraphs to read. And granted, it's, it's suggested that you read the sentence first and then have your child read it, which will make it easier. And then, of course, the words get more difficult as you have longer words and different blending sounds. You, they don't introduce two-syllable words until quite later in the curriculum. This curriculum, I think, is 200 plus lessons, 225 or so, 230. And so it will take you more than a year to do this if you are doing 180 days of school and if you do one of these lessons per day. So with my first child, it took two years to complete this curriculum and we did every single lesson. And when there were times where there were just two 
too much to read, too many paragraphs to read, we would break up the lesson with the lesson part and maybe one paragraph for that day and then do the other two paragraphs for the next day. This was really difficult for my son to read this. We had a lot of difficult time doing this. He also had a really difficult time reading words that were that weren't they weren't even that long but they required more than just one sound actually this is still one syllable but he he couldn't blend the letters together and then by the time he got to the end of the word by the time he had sounded out the word he would have forgotten what the word was and he would have to start over again that was really frustrating for him I'm not sure what the difficulty was for him at the time however now obviously it is not a problem at all when I got to my second child who went through this this would be my third son because my first one didn't go through this curriculum he was eight when we went through this which of course is later than you may typically want to do this curriculum you may start even as young as four probably five six or seven but we started this at eight when he was eight and he learned how to read midway through the book just on his own he just learned how to read just those things just connected for him at that age versus my two older kids that just connected at a later time so we actually didn't finish this curriculum and to be honest he didn't like it either now I don't always gauge whether a curriculum is good or not based on whether my kids like it or not sometimes things are hard and you just have to struggle through them and sometimes curricula are just not good and you need to just put them aside and find something else that's going to suit your family now overall even though this doesn't match the curriculum that we typically use which is a Waldorf curriculum which doesn't teach the letters of the alphabet until age seven which is considered first grade I still found this of value because it's so complete it goes through all the phonics that you need to know it's done in a really it's it's really well written out it's very easy for a person who doesn't have any background information on how to teach phonics to do this curriculum it's it's very user friendly and so there's so many good things about this that I still would highly recommend it even if you weren't doing this type of curriculum. Like I said, we were doing something that was so different than this. And I'm not sure that we're gonna do this again with my with my fourth child. We might go through the Waldorf curriculum completely and a little bit more authentically, but I did wanna show this to you in case this is a curriculum that you were considering. I do find it to be really well done. It's all oral. You don't need to have anything that you write down, except as a teacher, you may decide to follow her recommendations and get the index cards to write down the letters. I know that we skipped almost all of the optional lessons at the end of lessons on occasion there will be like a little optional lesson that you can do or just an optional way to to kind of do more with after the lesson to reinforce some of the ideas i'll tell you we skipped all of those uh, those uh, optional lessons all right so if you have a different curriculum for learning how to read please share it in the comment section below all right thanks for watching